Right away and without exposition it becomes abundantly clear that he's incredibly angered by the sight of his comrades having been taken out. For some unknown reason she seems so much cooler in a weird way when you add opera kind of music to her battles. Do you see what I'm saying now? Did you know I make these videos entirely alone? I write them, I record them, I edit them, everything 100% alone and not much in the way of YouTube revenue nowadays. So if you want to support me, hit up my Patreon below. Thanks so much. Oh yes, <laughs> absolutely this. Also though, Jujo stance. Well, she's a complete and utter badass, I loved that! Really impressive looking parkour and not running on the spot there. I don't know if he's alive or not, but huge credit to them working together so quickly to grab him as he fell off the building. Baba. I have no clue how this is possible, but my boy Dio just turned up somehow. I'm losing my mind. Okay, actually, two wins. Firstly, Dio is here. He's one of my favourite voice actors in the game. Secondly, no emergency out of absolutely nowhere plot twist. There's your classic showing and not telling as we see her fear portrayed by her literal shaking jaw. I'm so happy in a weird way, it's the return of a genuinely awesome character. I mean, he beat a soul out of a body to regain control. It's insane, I love it. Can't risk showing too much, but the environmental damage is next level and consistent across each scene from a different angle. Not running on the zoomed in spot! Another prime example of character growth for him, just like was mentioned during the second quarter video, where he held back even whilst very angry due to needing answers to his questions. Their friendship is now advanced and very wholesome. It reminds me a little of the characters from Chainsaw Man, actually. <laughs> Double not running on the spot when they really didn't have to put so much effort into the scenes. Easily could have zoomed on their faces and saved the time and energy, the legends. <laughs> The biggest of kudos for doing an anti-classic anime trope here. Normally, they just let them whisper, plan things out, but this guy is curious and starts attacking, like in reality. <laughs> Great example of what I call a fresh battle, each movement is unique, nothing is repeated like Dragon Ball Super for example, each one is fresh. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think even that was done with CGI, was it? Showing this because I genuinely adore both her attacks and how they animated here. It looked friggin' perfect! Most of us will never know the effort that must have gone into all of this animating for such a simple moment, but I have a good idea, so they're getting two max wins for it. How could I possibly see that majesty on display with the gloriously smooth animation originating from yet another series of fresh attacks and not give it a win? I'm not sure I've seen this kind of thing too many times in anime that looked freaking great and has me worried for her now. Yeah. 
Goodness me, they even accurately do a brain that's been kind of knocked for six, and your hearing and vision is all fuzzy. Excellent job adding creepy music to the background here ever so slightly to fill that creepy void. Can't show it, but they do a fantastic job of making him a genuinely creepy enemy because he's just doing it for fun. He stops the girl crawling away, stabbing her left leg four different times. He's horrible. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen might actually be in my top five for realistic and fresh battles being mixed. I adore how he kicks her away and fully turns to concentrate on his only real foe there now. <laughs> He's really so damn cool, isn't he? <laughs> I say again, he really is so damn cool though, isn't he? This anime really does love showing and not telling. All of his prior confidence quickly goes out the window as he's confused at being unable to land an attack and now looks genuinely scared. The use of the lighting there is fantastic to really make him look super intimidating. In fact, I'll give your boy two max wins here. What a series of attacks and great looking animation throughout! <laughs> then we're gifted with another amazing looking attack with two waves of animation on the damage. The first from the initial strike and then some serious wall damage as his energy gets put into it. I can't believe they only went and changed the music again to now fit him being totally scared by a foe. There's a real serious tone to that song and it's incredibly badass and fitting. Guess what? They're getting another max two wins. Another amazing looking attack. He went all plus ultra on him. Plus the max win deal was sealed by the excellent environmental damage outside. There's that realism I adore. She asks the question, but then goes through it logically and puts it aside as unrealistic. But at least she thought to ask herself the question. I've been saying it during the past two videos and here we go for the third. I'm such a huge fan of however it is they do the curses with the animation. It's glorious. <laughs> She is absolutely fantastic and all glory to the animators for that sick showcase of animation when she burst out and swung her weapon around. So many frames! Not running on the spot yet again, I love them! This is one of the many things I'm loving about the newer shonen type anime is a focus on heading straight into battles. You know as well as I do, normally we get a five minute chat revealing plans. How they've beautifully crafted this area of the city and spliced it together with real world locations with curses and everything else. Dedication to their craft. <laughs> I'm so honestly happy to hear and see him again. Such an awesome character from the past. As soon as I saw the words pop up, I knew who it was and smiled. Uh, yeah, 100% that gets a win. That was one of the sickest moves of the entire season to date. I don't live in Japan, as you know, I'm a UK boy, but even I'm impressed by the real world views of this place. Must be even better for someone who lives there. Learning that win number 341 was even more valid than when I wrote it since he went into combat mode in less than like half a second. Yet another new and unique type of skill of that! 
強化され打ち出された血液の所属は音速を持っている I tell you, when you've got a writer as talented as this, anything is possible. I mean, he turns his blood into a frickin' laser and then fires from the underground up to the surface. <laughs> Going first person during the battle like it's no big deal whatsoever. So much credit for how he's grown, he's got a literal hole in his forearm, and yet he still keeps his head and keeps calm. Then a super well done rotating shot like it too is no big deal whatsoever. Another anti anime moment where instead of standing there and letting him build up the attack, he instead attacks him before he can unleash it fully. I have been so, so very impressed by the studio's animation during the second season. It's very clear that they took their time and have built something truly worth the time here. I've had enough of this damn anime and its amazingness. It's so good that they should be ashamed of themselves, but I bet they aren't. Take two max wins for this animation goodness. Super smooth animation style almost reminds me of a more refined version of Ping Pong the animation. I literally said out loud, Oh god, I love this! Because he attacked during a conversation. It's so anti anime! And in fact, Take Two Max wins for the epic first person shot at the same time. Same win here, I gave anime like My Hero Academia, where the mangaka is so damn smart to not only think of the different abilities, but then in depth uses of each ability, as mentioned here about short range, long range use, etc. <laughs> they really didn't have to do it, but the studio made the attack take out one piece of electronics at a time as it hit. <laughs> They found a wind's vein, you keep on going first person like that from different perspectives like it's no big deal, and you're gonna earn yourself max wins. It looks incredible, and it's the height of unique. Some of the cleanest looking CGI I've ever seen, I think. Not quite long enough to warrant two max wins, but a great mixing of CGI and animation there. Oh man, that gets me hyped! The music changes with an intense drum beat. He floats into view behind him, ready to attack, and it's just too damn epic! A straight up awesome looking attack! This is what I like to call a JoJo situation where I couldn't really see a way out of it, and then they cleverly use his own abilities, weaknesses against him. Very Jojo looking stances. <laughs> this is one of those battles where it's literally too long to show the whole thing and wrap it up with just two max wins. It's legit too good for that. So, two max wins for this so far, godlike animation. <laughs> Then you get this as a new win, a perfect mixture of sound effects with the oomph, animation on the attack, and then animation on the effects from the attack. Can't show it, but a brilliant plot twist win as things were looking so good for our boy, only for his liver to be pissed by a surprise attack. It's really been one of the words of the day for this season, but growth. Understanding, to his mind, he will perish here, and so controls his emotions and tries to at least take him out to protect the others. The ingenuity behind putting a real-world issue into his ability, that being the worrisome potential of a blood clot when he does this? <laughs> oh. 
honest to God, this is one of the best battles I've had the honor of watching and covering in a long time on this channel. Just the pure toil you can tell that went into it is palpable. Two Max wins again. <laughs> As you very likely guess, easily the easiest Max 2 wins to easily drop onto the video. It truly had standing animation from start to finish there. So many shots from so many different angles. The camera went up and then down. Heavy hitting moments cut with sudden shots that went first person. That was something truly, truly magical to behold. What? Another word of the video, realism. Just how you'd logically be stunned by landing a perfect shot and it doesn't have any effect. And then you're left confused in that moment and open to attack. Also take another one for yet more anti-anime tropes. Normally that kind of attack would land, but also anti-anime is how he immediately counter-attacks in a big way rather than talking to him instead. My god, what a confusing end to the episode! That is absolutely getting two max wins for not only confusing me with a GLPT, a god level plot twist, but for how well it was done. So much care and attention clearly went into creating a scene that confused both him and us, making it seem like he's one of his brothers. Wow, blown away by that! <laughs> I think one thing that has seriously impressed me this season is the continued cinematography, meaning how the movements are framed to look like fast-paced action ones flying around the scene. It could be long to show it all, but she goes through how the curse works, and it's got me admiring the brain of the manga even more now, because not only do the heroes have in-depth abilities, curses do too! Her calmness in such a hostile and dangerous situation just straight up got me loving her. The story can get so dark sometimes and I'm over here liking that. I do enjoy when an anime can lean into its darker side like here. outstanding attack from her. Again, I'm caught thinking of the animation style being like the ping pong anime. Sad that the crew got taken out taking out the curse, but the win is for the animation style here. It's really something else than was used during season one and I'm not hating it one bit. Whoa, things are really starting to heat up now. I doubt she'll win this battle sadly, but I absolutely cannot wait to see what's going to go down. And that's a fat win where I'm from. <laughs> I haven't a clue what the old man's ability is that allowed him to move so quick and do this, but it was sick considering the conversation about him being drunk and useless just now. <laughs> The anime again leaning into that darker side without a flashlight. It threw up like 100 people's bones and it was sick in the actual sick sense. And now I'm hyped for this fight. <laughs> How they totally factored physics into her movements here to launch herself up to be able to get on top. <laughs> Both of them having what can only really be described as very odd conversations. Well, mainly the old man's anyway. He's talking about animation 60 frames per second and whatnot. Also though, all might from My Hero Academia. <laughs> I 
I totally understand now why so many people were hyped for this arc to be animated, since it's packed with battles. It's in the very same vein as My Hero 6 season, which too was nuts for battles. <laughs> Everyone attacking in slow motion looks just as good as all of the normal parts of the battle. <laughs> this old man is actually legit awesome, not gonna lie. I mean, why would I? Bit weird behavior on my part, isn't it? Yet another new and unique type of skill that! Just like the man manipulating his blood and risking his health to do it, it's so amazing that the Magaka came up with a risk for his skills use as well. Gorgeously changing the art style for the entire background like this. Again, it's incredible to me to watch how, within the lore, they use domain expansions to their advantage. Then others can do things within that to help themselves out. It's so varied. I've said it before and it bears repeating, I'm such a huge fan of the style of animation done on these cursors, I love that. This guy really keeps on rising in my estimations, he's under insane pressure during this battle and is totally keeping his head and I adore characters like that, reminds me of Isaac Natero. Well, you're insane and need help if you think for a single second that that wasn't going to get a win. That's a GLPT. How in the hell did he get there? Amazing plot twist. Worthy of Max wins, that is. In both instances here, the studio did an unreal job of animating from a distance. Both times, from both angles, it looked perfect, like you could easily spot the detail in spite of the distance. My wife who coming in with a sneak attack, and at the same time is proving her worth to herself and the others that she belongs there in the thick of the fighting, and she can do it. It's weird, I'd never lie and say this attack is chock full of frames, because it's not, but there's something about the style they use that fits the lack of frames. Kind of like how I mentioned Ping Pong the animation before. Sometimes you don't need tons of frames for the animation to still look really good. Exactly what I talk about in regards to the law. Like, someone made this up, but it sounds utterly logical and convincing. Of course you can't have two domains! He lost his guaranteed attack due to it! This guy is legit not too far off of Gojo this season in terms of looking pure awesome. Like, between his fight with the blonde guy and now this one, he's on another level of cool right now. Can't show, but the old man has lost a limb, but much like the Tarot, still keeps on fighting like a badass he is. Credit to whomever came up with this funky but amazing sounding combat song, it fits the scene scarily well. I love this line from him because it's mature from him and professional from Nanami. After all, there's no way he's gonna let someone from the school get left behind. <laughs> Two wins here, firstly it's for an excellent and strange ending to a great episode, no idea what the hell is going on there at the end. Secondly, it's because these two didn't question anything, they immediately rushed back and that's amazing. Sugar! Actually being awesome and not giving a small recap at the start by reusing all the same clips from the previous episode and instead giving us the same events from another angle. How is it even 
possible that they found a way to make this even more intense than it already was? Man, oh man! This anime just keeps on getting better and better and better! It's crazy! I'm so in love! I'm not even messing around here! For that? For that? They're already getting two bags wins out the gate. Rotating shot, first person, that transition, plus heart pumping action. Get out of here! Also, take a follow up win for how it's explained why he didn't attack any of them, because All Squid is the strongest foe there, so he went right after him. He's a dude who just literally loves to fight. He's smiling the whole way through, and right now he's great for our side because they were on the ropes for a bit. At the same time, it'd be silly to not mention the godlike animation on display still using that same wild looking style. I mean, that's crazy. There's literally too much to break down. It's a continuous battle flying past with water sprinting and fish bashing and underwater shots. Take Max Winch, you crazy so-and-sos. This, to me, just showing the fantastic possibilities that domain expansions allow for when it comes to battles within them. I mean, it's like another world with those giant things popping out. Honestly, it's at a point where I almost feel bad for Octomite. He's clearly struggling now, whilst this guy isn't skipping a beat, just relentlessly attacking. Furious Star Platinum style attacks there and very anti-anime for him to say it's not over yet and then get utterly pummeled. So well done, that tense feeling in the air. He didn't say a word when he came in and attacked. Doesn't sound like an ally, but might not be a foe. You can feel it. Ah, the fights just never end. He got forced outside, she's inside, and he's now also arrived on the scene. It's too much. It really is my Hero Academia Season 6 all over again. Endless big fights, boy! Two wins. Firstly, that was well done for intimidation purposes. Secondly, it's further proof of how strong Gojo is that he's considered to be on another level to the foe that they all just struggle to beat together. There is no way he just killed off those two, right? That absolutely can't be the case. But for now, they're getting an unbelievably shocked win. Take another equally shocked win. You're telling me all three of them got taken out just like that? Mimiko! So, <laughs> Damn, man. This guy is just going around killing allies and enemies alike. I can't even take this anymore. What the hell is going on? Okiro. You know, with everything going on, I basically completely forgot about the fingers and their plan for him to eat them to slowly stop that evil and their conflicting plans to take him out or turn him into a bad guy. Just shows how unreal the rest of the story is that I forgot about this. <laughs> Made me happy seeing this, as at least it means our heroes from just now stand a chance of also being okay. I hope. It's still too much for me to take my win. <laughs> ah! He's woken up! I didn't expect this what happens now! <laughs> An excellent job is done of portraying the pure fear even his potential allies feel being around him. Come on, man. 
It's too good now. It's silly. Once again, they should be ashamed. He almost inaugurated all of them for not bowing. It's nuts. I love it so much. It's crazy. Max wins, please. Daisuke. Daisuke. It's like a weird kind of Stockholm Syndrome or something. It's not normal behaviour from the girls. Kudos for making it a little unique in that regard. As gruesome as this is, and it is gruesome, it gives a good insight into how evil he is and why having him around should absolutely be avoided, rather than having him become some nice guy along the way or whatever. The studio leaning so heavily into the dark side that they ain't ever going to find a way out of that dark room. How wildly consistent they are with the environmental damage to the building from the recent attacks no matter the angle. <laughs> you just know from this it's already going to be a great episode. I am continuously so impressed with this awesome style of animation, I swear. Very quick, not running on the spots! They totally went all Matrix up in here with that first part of the sequence. Also how they worked in the rabbit attacks, although I had to cut that out for copyright purposes. Two Max wins! Getting realism from someone being honest with themselves and admitting that they do not want to die and so aren't exactly throwing themselves into the fray. Panda rather hilariously checking every nook and cranny trying to find potential victims to rescue. like a heavy lean on the ping pong the animation style of animating and I'm absolutely loving it. It kind of means less work whilst doing long form furious battles consistently. <laughs> Two wins here. To start the sequence looks so damn good as he's running away. It also allows for a totally different style of animating compared to a typical battle and takes advantage of the whole area. Also though, let's give him credit for going up against one of the strongest foes in the entire world, and yet not only is he able to hold him off in the building, but he's escaping in the streets like a boss! I've been saying this for years now, the fact that my boy Kazuma from the Yakuza, now Like a Dragon Games, is in this anime will never not equal a damn win. My god, his escapes are some of the greatest things I've witnessed this season during a battle that's so creative and inventive! I've legit been waiting for this to happen since the last episode and I'm so incredibly hyped right now! That? They can have two max wins for that. That was oddly incredibly powerful. His father understood he was fighting his son and in that moment checked himself out. I almost have no words for that. Man, this guy is the worst! And no, that's not the win. It's for the plot twist and just so happens to be a fact. I hate him! In spite of animating them at a distance, they still manage to rotate them within a CGI scene smoothly. Also, I think I mentioned this during the movie, which I've covered by the by, but his plan isn't a terrible one either. Like, the good guys are doing the right thing, but I get his plan. The head priest dude, always with mine in the sentence of a bookworm and vanilla ice from Jojo. What a great comment to add from him! This season is just so utterly chock full of unexpected moments and plot twists. Easily my favourite arc so far, I think. Oh no!
Again, another easy to give out max wins when you consider the amazing feat of adding in the city background for all of the battle shots, it becomes another level. Lovely added detail of the temperature going sky high due to his attacks. You know what else this amazing style of animation reminds me of? Mob Psycho 100 second season with the later fights against that insanely powerful dude. It's fantastic to watch him going all out. I never really pictured him as being overly powerful since I only recall seeing him fight Gojo, but he really, really is strong. like it bled straight out of the manga or something. The fact that during this attack they made some but not all of the lights go off. You can see that that's hand done effects. They've really got the style down to a fine art haven't they? What a supreme way to show his level of power that merely turning up and telling them not to move when faced with their own destruction heading swiftly in their direction they still have to obey. Even imagine the amount of work that went into creating such excellent looking flames with hand animation, not take hint of CGI. Take two wins for that. I mean, how could I not? Learning that he didn't make it out of their firefight, but using the moment to nicely set up the next stronger spirit they're going to be facing outside. <laughs> Very well done in how he actually sounded sad to no longer be able to see his friends as he knew them. <laughs> Half the win is for him giving him legit props for being strong during their battle, didn't see that happening. The other half is for him saying where they went wrong, showing some strategy on his part. Never thought it'd equal a win, but he met someone he didn't want to immediately fight. I won't show everything, but I got this pit in my stomach. Feels awful seeing him so badly hurt like this and this freak just standing by waiting for him to get even weaker. I want to add another win here for the animators. They've done an outstanding job on this. I hope working conditions can vastly improve because they deserve it. Here's a win in their honor. A quite frankly shockingly smooth rotating shot. I don't even know what's happening, but my eyes are growing wider, my mouth is opening slowly, and I'm easing into the feeling of tension. Let's go. I have a bad feeling about this, but he totally deserves a win for the sweetness of thinking about his promise he may not be able to fulfill. Ah, now I got a really bad feeling about this. He's grown on me so much over the two seasons and it hurts already. Half the win is for that look of true fear in him, even worse than earlier on with Nanami, and the other half is because it does look like he got taken out there. That's getting max wins. He saved because that's his ability, but 100% it needs max wins for this creepy thing attacking. It looks scary and glorious at the same time. Oh, please tell me that this evil dude ends up keeping him alive by some chance. Ashimi, to itta tokoro da na. 
everything is perfection here. This incredible music sounding so extreme and dangerous, and then the animation. Then finally, his confidence mixed with caution. Also, take another one here for the fact that they went without an OP this episode to give us a bigger episode. Oh my word, it's starting! This season may end up actually coming equal with My Hero Academia's sixth season in terms of a total amount of fights like, this is crazy stuff, no? I mean, <laughs> how can I not? I absolutely refuse to pile this entire battle into one max win segment and move on. You can't give me so much heart pounding action and then get away with that. This is cinematically one of the coolest battles I've seen in this anime. It's like David versus Goliath but only in a physical sense, not power. The environmental damage fully on display, such as office chairs and whatnot flying around the room. A simple fist fight causing an entire building to collapse around them. I'd be so shocked to learn that no one who was involved in Mob Psycho 100 Season 2 was involved in this. It feels so similar to me in the style of the animation. Credit for not just filling the room with CGI characters because it'll only be on screen briefly. It just keeps on getting better and better and the scale of the battle bigger and bigger. The schedule for these episodes is true, the animators are truly next level masters of their craft. Two Max wins again. Firstly, obviously the animation, well, it's gorgeous, but secondly, it's because he's struggling a little bit here and you can see that on his face for a moment there. The city senior is shot, but also the fact that the lights keep going out and coming back on during the battle. Amazing looking colour palette change there on the city. I mean, would you just drink it in? It's like he's in an orchestra just making it all happen and loving every minute of the utter destruction. They don't even use CGI on any of the flame effects from the plane or any of it really. <laughs> Way too much animation goodness to show, but take once again Max wins for that. It was like a stunning 90 seconds at least of just insane animation as he breaks out his domain expansion. Getting more Max wins. They have to. I'm not sure I've ever seen anything quite like that before. It blew me away, but also sadly due seemingly to the entire civilian population being taken out. If you know me, then you knew that was always going to get wind. Ooh. The sheer size and scale of what can only really be described as a godlike attack. Um, that blonde dude I hate. You know the guy. His, uh, face slid off, so yeah, take a win for that. Have one for it very much now looking like he'll survive. I'm incredibly grateful for that. <sighs> ah, now that stunned reaction from just now makes perfect sense. Half for that, but also because he's back fully and he's okay. Even though he's now faced with the horrors his body was forced to do. <laughs> That horrible and very realistic reaction, outstanding voice acting on it too. I felt that. Seeing the pure destruction caused to the entire city in detail. Even though he's really not looking good, especially the face, have one here for the fact that he's still alive.
Darth Weirdo, Matthew Blancet, Mao Liao, The Element Taylor Wars, Christopher Willis, Draki, Fancy Turtle, Kepan, Mini Masher, Marquez, Orkeeper, Steelers, The Epic Commander, Birds Without a Word, Brandon Creer, Brian Bayot, Cameron, Christopher Tarasa, Commander Cyrus, Doggos for Life, Dragonstorm 35, Emmanuel Gonzalez, Aaron Winters, Guru Guru, I Am Here, Your Edvinson, Kevin Alston, Kampfreuk, Carly Welp, Lisa Marie Tim, Luis Minito, Magnus, Nathan Burr, Nightly Winter, Peter Milligan, Ruby Rose, Satakayari, Zionx44, Sean, The 100s, Tiger Lily Warrior, Subito, Wiccan Fay, Ali 50, Brainless Ben, Cecilia, Cedric, Cloud Garden, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Devon, Iso, Garrett Vermish, Gibbs, Isel Caldera, Jason Davies, John John, Jafford 6263, Kalnock, Kevin Nelter, Kevink 102, Knuckle Duster, Chris Madden, KY158, Carl Jones, Laxor, Maxus, Liam Gogarty, Lifty, Lionel Schultz, Marvin, Malcarius, Michael Lewis, Modivorum, Mudini, Mr. Fire Cool, Natsu Dragneal, Nick Monaco, Nick Pell, 1928, Oliver Smiley Reacts, Q Flash, Ryan Devirus, Sentimento, Storm 970, TRS, The Danish Muggle, Tricky Nicky, Willyman, 